a lot of brothers need to know. Relationship talk. Yeah, relationship talk. We want women to be submissive, but we have to learn how to be submissive to our woman. When you eliminated all those options, listen, it comes a point you gotta get everybody out of the way and focus on one person. Because if you're a man of God, and it's not a good look for you to be dating multiple women. It's a difference between entertaining or getting to know a person, but dating, when you seriously date one woman, not 10 women, not 30 women, and we say we're men of God because we're supposed to have integrity. Yes. And that's what's lacking, a lot of integrity. And we're using the world perspective. Mm. We're allowing the world to dictate to us when God has already told us how to go through the selection process. The Bible said when a man found him a wife, not wives. We're not Old Testament Christians here. One wife. One. At a time. Because you might be divorced. <laughs> Amen. You might be divorced. At a time. At a time. <laughs> when a man finding a wife, he find it for good thing. Every woman is not wife material. You got to make sure she's wife material. You got to see if she have kids, you got to see how she handle her kids. You got to see how she handle her business. You got to know she up on her stuff. Can't she manage this? Can't, how does she handle under pressure? Same thing with us men. We got to be able to handle pressure. Mm. We got to be up on our stuff. It got to be balanced. And just because a person is in a bad situation don't mean that's not the person for you. Amen. We have a bad misconception. Oh, they got to make six figures. Mm. You don't find that nowhere in the Word of God. When it comes to the Word of God, it talks about more about the character of a person. Because that brother can make six figures, but he can be beating the heck out of you at nighttime. That part right there. That sister can make six figures, but she, her hygiene ain't all that good. Her, her kids, her children are unruly. So we have to know how to date in a godly manner. And how to date in a godly manner, you have to pray. First of all, before you do anything, pray. Because the devil knows what you want. Now, I'm going to tell I'm going to make a public servant now for nine times out of ten, the counterfeit shows up first. The devil know what you like. Oh my God. And ain't no use you acting like he don't know what you oh like. Oh my goodness. Just because they the man of your dreams, the woman of, listen to what I said. Your dreams. Well, I pray for somebody that's six foot three. That's your pardon. And not be what God has for you. Now, Nicole is my sister, you guys. Nicole would be my preference because she's light skinned. I was a fool for a light skinned woman. That was my preference. Long, pretty hair. All of that. <laughs> but this. <laughs> this right here. You see? I feel we look together. They so cute. So what I'm saying, a lot of time, men, learn how to get out of your perspective of what. Because God may not give you what you think you should have. But I'm a witness to give you exactly what you need. Well. When you submit to God in the dating process, let me tell you something. You can know in two days if you want to deal with a person. Ooh, hallelujah. It does not take six months. It don't even take a year to figure out if you're going to deal with a person. Listen to what I say. If you're going to deal with a person. Month two, you need to be trying to figure out, okay, we're dating with a purpose. We need to be. <laughs> because we, right we can stream people along. I know some folk been engaged seven years. I know some folk been together 15 years. There, That's is, no, too much. there is no engagement. There is no That's problem. ungodly. It is. Look, if I can get the milk from the cow without buying the cow, I ain't going to. I'm, I'm just. You're going to have to purchase this one. Hey, hey. Hey, man. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We got to stop letting... Watch this. I'm not against lifestyle coaches, but stop letting people dictate to you your day life because what might work for them may not work for you. You got to find your own rhythm. For you, it may take a year. For somebody else, it may take six months. You got to know yourself. But you seven got, years is unacceptable. No, seven years and, 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 and you got to and you got to ring... You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? If you keep playing with the flesh, the flesh is win. I don't care how saved you are. I don't care how much Holy Spirit you got. I didn't did it. Let me That's tell you so something. True. And I know I'm saved. I know I, I speak in tongues. Hey! But what I'm saying is, 
male and females automatically attract. It's not hard to get a female. Just be a real man, vice versa, Nicole. Amen. Am I right? Amen. A woman wants, right let me tell you, <laughs> how to get, you ain't got to have no game. Brothers, you ain't got to dress good, really. If you can reach her intellectually. That part. Stimulate her mind. Find out what she likes. Once you do that, everything else comes. Got her. But you can't take that for granted either. We have got to learn that women is, other than salvation, other than Jesus Christ, a woman is the greatest creation that God ever put on the earth. And you should honor her. You should honor her and treat her as a queen. Women, fill your man up. If your man ain't got a job, encourage him. Help him find some applications. Don't talk about the man because let me say something. A real man, it already bothered him that he can't do what he need to do. And he's not going to rest. If your man ain't talking, sometimes men, we don't talk. We meditate. We trying to figure something out because a real man has a game plan. A real, let me say that again. A real man has a game plan. If he's not talking, something on his mind. Me, I get quiet with something on my mind. And I might not can't tell, I might not can't tell you right now. Because that's between me and God. Because I'm leading you, so I'm going to be in an emotional state to lead you the right way. Build your man up. Pray for, stop praying for your man. Don't pray on your man. Pray for your man. Ooh wee, that's a mouthful. Vice versa, guys. Stop looking for women to take care of you. Get your butt up and go to work. Go to work. Pick up some cans. If you can't find a job. Do something. If you, can, if you cannot, Nicole, I'm all right. If you can't find a job, do something do to show something, her cause something. There so, has been plenty of times where I have been with a man and I just wanted it to at least look like he was doing something versus laying up in the bed right. or laying up in the house. Right. Because women get their security from knowing that their man is willing to right. take care of the household. Watch this. I was married, 23 years old, didn't have a job. She was out working. I cook, I clean, I wash the clothes. When she hit the door, I had her bad water already ran. To show her, baby, I'm not working, but I'm keeping the house together. Doing something. Most women just want you to try, brothers. Try. And that woman will push you to the limits that you would have no idea if you just try. But if you're looking for a mama, you better go find your mama. <laughs> Where's she at? You understand what I'm saying? We have got to be men, y'all. If, if you can't do nothing but flip burgers, flip burgers, it brings some money in the house. That's what I'm saying. I will be at the burger joint with you. I help you close, wipe them tables yeah. out, whatever. Yes. Just I'm let me see you doing something. Good women. Good, good women are not hard to good women are hard to find because we're so used to bad women. We're so used to thoughts. That's Stop that. dating thoughts. Stop dating thoughts. Stop that. We know. Oh, she fine. She got them tights on. She got them shorts on. But guess what? It might be a booger bag up under there. <laughs> it's hot in Texas. It is. <laughs> it's hot in Texas. Spandex make a lot of funk, gentlemen. <laughs> Listen to the past. I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah. Get you a godly woman. We don't want that no more. What's wrong with a godly woman? A woman that can pray for you, man. A woman that can touch more than your flesh. My hands. Yes. Pray. Intercede. Yes. You see that lady right there that, that was behind me? I know God sent her my way. And you can't let people come in your relationship. The best thing you can do is keep people out of your personal life. Don't take advice from nobody who really. Don't take advice from nobody who relationship going bad and they ain't trying. That don't make sense. I didn't say they. I didn't say they. They was trying, but if they ain't trying, what? The, what can they tell you? If they can't keep that their team. relationship, a lot of times your relationship bad because you're taking on too much negative energy from the wrong people. I'm gonna turn it over to my sister Nicole because I believe I've said enough. Okay, so another question. Earlier, you had given me an example of the man. Yes. 
and the the woman that he's dealing with and another woman. Could you yeah. break that down for the camera, please? Yes. And brothers, y'all know this truth. Y'all know this truth. These are two women, right? This is the this is the man. When we meet a woman, we're looking at her attributes, what she brings to the table. And men, we will entertain more than one woman. We do that. Because if we're looking for something, we're looking for something. So, and it's going to be something about both of the women you like. It's going to be something. She got nice feet. Ooh, pretty feet. Yes. Man, she got that booty, man. She got that booty, man. She got that dog in her trunk. Okay. She got good conversation. All right, let's just be real. She got a good sex game. I'm just keeping it real. She know how to cook. This girl don't know how to cook nothing but out of the box. <laughs> and she burning that up. <laughs> she cook out of the box, but it take homemade. <laughs> She got good sex. She got good conversation. Her children are well kept. Her children. Deep. Yes. Straight deep. But she got good sex. <laughs> you follow me? She's going to college. She might not be, she might not be as good looking. She might not be as pretty. She might not be. She may be dark like me. The sister over here. Remember them, them children bad? That house ain't that clean, she got good sex. She got good sex. And she got good toes. <laughs> Pretty toes, I'm sorry. We will, brothers, we, we, we sometimes be so slow. This is an easy decision here. It really is an easy decision, but we make it hard. Oh, girl, sex game might not be that great. But you can teach her. What we'll do. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> Baby girl, put it on me. Man, she had my toe like this. But see, that'll be that same chick. Then when you off at work too long, she got a whole nother dude in y'all house. A whole nother dude in your house. She didn't learn all them sex tricks by Stop herself. It. Let me tell you something, y'all. I'm not as fine as I used to be. I used to be way finer than this. Baby, can you bring me some cake? We're going to take that out. <laughs> It's about a person's personality and attributes. That's what you want at the end of the day. At the end of the day? And that's at what you got to live with. Day, Cause look, good sex can play out. That thing might not get hard no more, y'all. That thing might not get well. I'm just keeping it real. This is real talk. Real talk. This is real talk. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you want somebody that's going to ride with you. Good sex can be the go and got somebody else. Sister over here going to be right there. Period. Sis? Alright, you guys, this is Real Talk with William Dixon and Sister Nicole. Thank you guys for stopping in. Hopefully, we'll have more videos. We will. We will. All right. Shout. The parents are going to come hard next week. Y'all tune in next week. I'm coming hard. Port. Oh, okay. in the bank. <laughs> Alright, then. Bye.